As you listen to these sounds, how do they make you feel? Do you feel less stressed, less anxious, maybe more relaxed? There's a whole load of research going on in, in this topic, uh, particularly in Japan, but around the benefits of forest bathing and you know how it reduces anxiety, increases serotonin, and um, you know. I don't, I don't think there's any secrets that being in a forest is is good for us compared to being in in, in the tall office building with multiple Wi-Fi's and people on top of people and and all that sort of stuff. That speaking was Jonathan Jenkins, a UK native, but who's currently living in Limuru, Kenya, an area about 40 kilometers north of Nairobi. He has partnered with Kenyan native Herbert Angubo, and together, along with others, they have founded a community-based organization called Friends of Brackenhurst Forest. Their mission is to restore the forest that was destroyed during industrialization. Here's Herbert describing what the land looked like before his organization. It looked like a woodlot. It was pure eucalyptus, woodlot, and uh, the other species, which is cypress and uh, black wattle. So there was nothing interesting about them because most trees look will look similar. The soil is so degraded. So you walk inside the forest, but there's dust at your feet. Or you slide because uh, the leaves, which are not decomposing, are forming something like a carpet, which is slidey. No animals, no birds, nothing feeds on the leaves of those species. So that's how it was. Herbert, who was trained as a biochemist, loves nature and sees it as an integral part of human existence. We are, we are nature. So being apart from nature is unnatural and that's make, making us have many problems. So I think I'm an addict of nature and I love being there. Because of this, he founded the organization about a year ago and he along with other community members have helped plant and restore over 100 native African tree and shrub species to this area. Their dedication to the forest has created a safe haven for more than the 170 bird species, many monkeys, and various other animals. His focus is on the community, and Herbert sees the forest as a place where all can benefit. It's not so much about me profiting, but us profiting, and us profiting from what you're trying to save. So it's about us becoming part of the salvation of nature. The importance of keeping that intact and giving it down to other generations. For Jonathan, the forest is a symbol of a hopeful tomorrow. I often get a sense that, um, you know, we, we get so much doom and gloom coming through our, our, our news channels and via our phone that we kind of, we lose a, a, our sense of hope. And, um, you know, there's enough stress and anxiety in people's lives that that in itself reduces our ability to, to even imagine um, a positive future. And, and this, just through being here, is, is a great um, way of, you know, seeing with your own eyes that, you know, we together, um, you know, working with the people that are close, close to us, that we can create something beautiful and special um, and, and the forest is, is a great example of that. For both of them, they know the forest provides numerous social and environmental benefits, but there's also simply nothing else like walking into the forest. In the forest is like a, it's like quenching thirst, but not the real thirst of the throat, but it's always cool. You just feel healthy because nature is around you. It kind of feels like you're you're kind of shedding a skin, uh, an old skin when you walk in there. And, I, and I've never regretted going for a walk in and coming out. You know, I always feel better. Information to visit the forest, donate, or become a member can be found on their website, brachenology.com. That's B-R-A-C-K-E-N-O-L-O-G-Y.com or follow their Instagram by the same name, Brackenology. So check them out, sign up, and in the meantime, go outside and enjoy the vast benefits of nature.